Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi semua. So next yang kita nak belajar which is the last thing yang kita nak belajar dalam Halo Alkin adalah steric effect or steric hindrance in SN2. Previously, I already mentioned that SN2 dia prefer primary dan juga metahelite sebab dia tak suka dalam keadaan crowded tu tak suka sebab bila keadaan crowded contoh banyak metal group that's mean tertiary or secondary uh, Tertiary lah, secondary tu boleh tahan lagi. Okay, tertiary dia crowded so high steric effect lah. Okay, so kita tengok macam mana. Apa masalah bila high steric effect. So, metal halide and primary halo, okay, is more reactive to SN2. Yes, we already know that. Then, the secondary and tertiary due to less steric effect in metal halide and primary halo, okay. Yes, okay. Untuk metal halide dan primary halo, okay, kan dia ada. Kalau macam primary halo, okay, only have one alkyl group. Okay, so maksudnya uh, less bulky, bukan less bulky lah, bulky tu ada tapi at least dia tak crowded lah. Okay, uh, so kamu boleh tengok di structure here, kita ada, this is metahelite lah, metahelite. Okay, and then this OH, tadi kan kita belajar mechanism, OH ni which is nuclear must attack from the back. Okay, so dia tak ada halangan sebab size of hydrogen is small, so this OH can reach this carbon here. Okay, so easier to be attacked from the back. Okay, but kita tengok sini. Kalau dia tertiary, banyak alkyl group. Okay, so tertiary alkyl group is bulky group. Size dia besar sebab dia ada carbon. Carbon tu dah besar. Lepas tu tambah lagi dengan 3 hydrogen for each carbon. Okay, so dia jadi bulky alkyl group. So this OH cannot reach this carbon. Okay, dia tak boleh nak sampai. Okay, so alkyl group is a bulky group. Difficult to be attack from the back okay so OH susah nak mencelah masuk ke carbon tu susah okay right so that is the reason why SN2 dia prefer yang less crowded which is metal halide dan primary haloalkin compared to tertiary okay or if you want to see it I think clearly you can look at this diagram here okay so carbon dekat tengah ni this is primary lah okay so ini adalah primary haloalkin ini secondary, ini tertiary. Okay, so beza dia cuba tengok. Yang hitam ni, yang hitam dekat tengah ni adalah carbon. Okay, yang biru ni adalah carbon juga. And yang putih tu adalah HCH3 lah. Okay, yang brown ni adalah bromine. Okay, so ini H, ini H. So as you can see, bila ada satu je alkyl group, um, nukleofar tu boleh attack carbon lagi. Sebab dia ada space lagi, empty space yang dia boleh lalu untuk pergi ke carbon. Okay, but secondary pula kita tengok. Okay, secondary ada CH3 sini, ada CH3 sini. But still we can see the black area. That's mean we can still see the carbon. So, the nucleophile can still reach the carbon dekat tengah tu lah. Okay, but kalau dia tertiary as you can see. Nah, kita dah tak nampak dah yang hitam dekat tengah tu. So, that's why tak boleh uh, berlaku mechanism SN2 lah. Because the nucleophile, dia cannot reach the carbon yang dekat tengah tu. Okay. So, for primary uh, haloalkane, nucleophilic attack is easy. For secondary, uh, nucleophilic attack is difficult but still boleh reach. Okay. And for tertiary, nucleophilic attack is impossible. Okay. So, itu maksud steric effect terhadap SN2. Then, that is the reason why SN2 tak boleh, tertiary tak boleh berlaku SN2. Secondary boleh depend kepada strength of nucleophile. SN1 memang uh, usually usually adalah SN2 Kalau metal memang confirm SN2 Okay Right so kita tengok this example here Okay so example ni uh, Kita ada What we call this uh, Haloalkane reacted with water Okay so kita tahulah produk kita akan form adalah Alkohol lah Okay so this is the product Alkohol sebab BR ni akan Leave this carbon here Okay, and uh, dia akan, water akan masuk lah. Okay, so dapat produk ni. Okay, the next thing we have to think adalah ini SN1 ke SN2. Okay, so kita tengok lah BR ni attach to this carbon. Carbon ni attach to one carbon only. So, maksudnya this is primary haloalkane. So, from our table, saya cakap kat kamu kalau primary haloalkane, usually dia adalah SN2. Okay, usually but not for this case. Okay, this case. Although this is primary haloalkane, dia akan undergo SN1 mechanism. Ay, kenapa? SN1 kan? Ha, tadi kata primary SN2. Okay, so sebabnya kamu tengok belakang ni. 
Belakang ni kita ada carbon yang atas tu tiga alkyl group. That's mean you can imagine structure yang dekat belakang ni very macam bulky lah besar. Dia menyebabkan carbon ni walaupun carbon ni primary tapi dia tak ada ruang untuk nukleophile tu attack carbon yang dekat sini. Okay. So disebabkan bulky alkyl group yang dekat belakang carbon ni itulah yang menyebabkan dia cannot undergo as an 2 tapi dia akan undergo SN1. So inilah yang awal-awal saya cakap tu. Okay primary usually SN2. Usually that's mean ada case di mana dia akan undergo SN1. So this is the case. Okay. Alright. So ini case dia. Dia undergo SN1. Okay so SN1 kita tahulah mekanism kita ada uh, dua step. Okay first one adalah formation of carbocation. And then the second one adalah uh, nucleophilic attack. Okay, so our nucleophile here adalah weak nucleophile. So, maksudnya kita ada step panjang sikit lah yang dekat step kedua tu. Okay. Okay, tapi sebelum saya start buat mechanism, dekat sini sebenarnya this is not the major product lah. Okay, sebab apa bukan major? Sebab kita boleh detect benda tu bukan major bila ini adalah SN1, kita tahu dia akan involve carbocation. So, you can imagine what happen adalah this BR ni keluar, so dia akan form carbocation dekat sini. Okay, and the, the class of this carbocation adalah primary carbocation which is not that stable lah. Okay. So, ada tak possibility untuk kita buat rearrangement and get more stable carbocation. Okay, so kita nampaklah, oh, this carbocation, why not kita shift dia ke carbon ni. Okay, and then that's mean one of the metal group here kena shift ke sini lah. Okay, so kalau carbocation di sini, so dia akan jadi tertiary carbocation which is more stable than primary carbocation. Okay, so kita prefer untuk shift sini lah. So, bila carbocation di sini, So, maksudnya OH- yang nak masuk tu adalah uh, water yang nak masuk tu dekat carbon ni lah. So, maksudnya major product kita adalah C yang attach tu OH dekat sini. De OH yang carbon ni yang attach tu OH. Okay. So, kita draw our product. Okay. So, saya dah draw major product kita. So, OH attach carbon yang tertiary. That is our major product. CH3 ni bergerak ke sini. Okay, so kita kena boleh imagine benda-benda ni macam ni lah dalam exam. Okay, uh, tapi ini just for SN1. Kalau SN2 mechanism dia tak ada carbocation so dia tak ada rearrangement lah. Okay, so maksudnya dekat sini kita akan buat mechanism SN1 to form major product lah. Okay, so step 1 sama formation of carbocation. Okay, that's mean this BR akan keluar. Okay, arrow towards BR sebab BR is more electronegative. So, kita punya produk adalah this one, CH2, carbocation and the class of that carbocation adalah primary carbocation. Okay, kena sentiasa check class of carbocation. Okay, and then kita tahu tadi kita akan bring this carbocation to this carbon. Okay, since carbon ni only attached to metal sahaja, that's mean we don't have any other choice. Kita hanya boleh shift metal lah. Okay, so kita akan buat 1, 2, metal, shift. So, produk kita adalah, okay, so ini CH2 dah attach to CH3 and then this carbon dah jadi carbocation and then check lah. Carbocation ni dah jadi tertiary, okay, sebab dia attach to 3 carbon. So, maksudnya rearrangement kita tadi betul lah, okay. Right, so now we already form tertiary carbocation and then only we can proceed to step 2. Okay, so step 2, nucleophilic attack. Okay, so our nucleophile adalah water. Kena show dia punya lone pair. So arrow start from lone pair pergi ke carbon ni. Okay, and then kita tahulah uh, that lone pair will be used to form a new bond with carbon yang carbocation tadi tu. Okay, so kita draw kita punya product. Okay, so O attach dengan dua hydrogen. Okay, tinggal satu lone pair. So, the formal charge is positive. Okay, and then from here kita tahulah uh, kita just nak OH sahaja. So, kita kena deprotonate one of the hydrogen by using another water molecule. 
Okay, so arrow start from lone pair daripada water molecule tu pergi ke H and then bond antara O dan H ni putus dan O yang dapat elektron. Okay. Okay, so sini dah jadi O, H and ada dua lone pair and kita dah dapat kita punya H3O and then Cl- tu sentiasa ada floating around. Okay. Alright, so settle step 2, basically kita dah berjaya dapatlah uh, produk yang kita nak which is this major product here. Okay, so sama je. Okay, so kita label lah. So ini adalah major product so that when you do your revision revision letter, you will see that oh, mechanism yang kita buat ni adalah mechanism for major product. I think that's all for chapter 7.2. And that's all for chapter 7 lah. Okay, thank you. Bye.